This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is the condensed form that DNA exists in to fit into the nucleus? Answer, the condensed form that DNA exists in to fit into the nucleus is chromatin. Question, how does DNA form a nucleosome? Answer, DNA loops twice around a histone octamer to form a nucleosome, also known as beads on a string. Question, what is the function of H1 in chromatin structure? Answer, H1 binds to the nucleosome and to linker DNA, thereby stabilizing the chromatin fiber. Question, what is the charge of DNA and histones? Answer, DNA has a negative charge from phosphate groups, while histones are large and have positive charge from lysine and arginine. Question, what happens to DNA in mitosis? Answer, in mitosis, DNA condenses to form chromosomes. Question, when does DNA and histone synthesis occur? Answer, DNA and histone synthesis occurs during S phase. Question, does mitochondria have its own DNA? Answer, yes, mitochondria have their own DNA, which is circular and does not utilize histones. Question, what is the structure of the DNA in the mitochondria? Answer, the DNA in the mitochondria is circular and does not utilize histones. Question, how does the charge of DNA and histones relate to chromatin structure? Answer, the negative charge of DNA from phosphate groups and positive charge of histones from lysine and arginine play a role in the formation and stabilization of the chromatin fiber. Question, can you explain the process of DNA condensation in mitosis? Answer, in mitosis, the DNA condenses to form chromosomes, which allows for the proper distribution of genetic material to the daughter cells during cell division. Question, how does the structure of chromatin affect the function of DNA? Answer, the condensed structure of chromatin allows for the efficient packing of DNA into the nucleus, while also allowing for regulation of gene expression through the compaction and decompaction of the chromatin fibers. Question, what is the significance of the nucleosome in chromatin structure? Answer, the nucleosome, formed by the looping of DNA twice around a histone octamer, is the basic unit of chromatin structure. It plays a crucial role in the compaction and organization of DNA within the nucleus, as well as in the regulation of gene expression. Question, how does H1 contribute to the stability of chromatin fiber? Answer, H1 binds to the nucleosome and to linker DNA, thereby stabilizing the chromatin fiber and contributing to the overall organization and function of chromatin. Question, can you explain the role of the S phase in DNA and histone synthesis? Answer, the S phase or synthesis phase is the part of the cell cycle during which DNA and histones are synthesized. This is an important step in the replication of genetic material and the proper distribution of chromosomes during cell division. Question, how does the structure of DNA in the mitochondria compare to that in the nucleus? Answer, the structure of DNA in the mitochondria is different from that in the nucleus. The DNA in the mitochondria is circular and does not utilize histones, while the DNA in the nucleus is linear and packaged with histones to form chromatin. Question, what is the significance of the circular shape of the mitochondrial DNA? Answer, the circular shape of the mitochondrial DNA may be related to its function and mode of replication, which is distinct from that of nuclear DNA. It may also reflect the evolutionary origin of mitochondria, which are thought to have originated from ancient bacteria. Question, how does the absence of histones in the mitochondrial DNA affect its function? Answer, the absence of histones in the mitochondrial DNA may allow for a different mode of regulation and expression of its genetic information. It may also make the DNA in the mitochondria more accessible for the processes that occur within the mitochondria. Question, how does the chromatin structure play a role in the regulation of gene expression? Answer, the chromatin structure plays a role in the regulation of gene expression by compaction and decompaction of the chromatin fibers. This changes the accessibility of the DNA for the transcriptional machinery and can turn on or off the expression of certain genes. Question, how does the structure of chromatin relate to the efficient packing of DNA into the nucleus? Answer, the condensed structure of chromatin allows for efficient packing of DNA into the nucleus by compacting the long strands of DNA into smaller and denser units such as nucleosomes. This allows for a larger amount of genetic information to be stored in a smaller space. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, 
be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.